I want to thank everyone out there for rocking with me today. It has been one heck of a show. I can't curse, but I would have said the real word. But it's really been one heck of a show. Of course, it is your host, K Dot. Thank you for tuning in right now to Video Mix TV. Again, we are always live. Coming at you from Deerfield all the way to Hialeah. Thank you to all my callers. And thank you for Lala and her beautiful mother, Miss Misha, for coming on the show today. Again, a blessing. So make sure that you guys are following Lala on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and all of the above. Definitely that EP will be highly anticipated, so make sure you guys are definitely keeping your watch out. And like we were talking about earlier, there is an awesome event going on this Saturday, Sickle Cell Awareness Networking Conference from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. Again, this Saturday, it will be hosted by Will Sirius and G.S. Cole. Music by DJ Lucky C. Food, beverages, entertainment, and children activities. Where is this going to be? Ives Estate Park, 20901 Northeast 16th Avenue, Miami, Florida. Please make sure you guys are out there. Lala said she's going to slide. I'm going to slide. The Video Mix TV crew will be out there. You have to stop just going to the club and go do something that actually makes a difference. So get your kids, bring your wife, bring your husband, and let's come out here and get together for a good wonderful event that really is going to help and support sickle cell awareness as you guys know uh we actually showed that uh cali swag district you know with um with everyone in it and in the, the crazy thing is on the third verse where we had simone battle who passed away jr third verse he passed away from sickle cell so it's like this is real you know this is a real real thing and you know that it definitely affects the black community even more so make sure you're out there this saturday showing love supporting something and i will be there so to all my fans out there that i didn't even know i had come kick it with me i will be out there we will be kicking it as i said before, early in the show, today is Uncle Al's, and we are celebrating his life, okay? Today is his uh, the anniversary of his death. He died September 10th, 2001, and that is a while ago, but Uncle Al did so much. He was much more than a legendary DJ, producer. He also had a philosophy of peace in the hood, and as he DJed and as he did his thing, he really, really kept that motto, peace in the hood it was a campaign and he stressed it he wasn't just a DJ and I really want all my DJs out there to know that you have an influence and you have to follow the Uncle Al light you have to be doing things that aren't just being a DJ but really affecting your community as Uncle Al did he was shot so it's very sad that his campaign was peace in the hood and he actually got shot over you know hood violence and that's it's a very sad and scary thing and as you know my boss Mr. Jesse said the very next day after Uncle Al's death was September 11th, of course, which devastated America, but then that means Uncle Al's passing got washed out very quickly, you know, and very forgot about very quickly when something as devastating as September 11th happened. So it's just one of those things like, wow, you know, we didn't even get to give him the homage that he deserved with that happening the very next day. So definitely throw up a post. You know what I'm saying, guys? We can't have things like this happen and be numb. Throw up a post. Throw up Uncle Al. You know, you've always been to a party. You heard this is going to blow your mind. What party have you not gone to and not heard that? That's Uncle Al. You know what I'm saying? Like, him a say. Da -da. Dang, y'all know that because I know that. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta know Uncle Al. Believe me, he went to Miami Northwestern High School alumni. So shout out to Miami Northwestern. If you guys didn't know Uncle Al went to your school, you do now. Miami misses you, Uncle Al. I miss you. We all miss you. Video Mix TV misses you. You will never be forgotten for all the things you did here on this earth. This is K Dot. I had an awesome show. Hope you guys feeling good, feeling blessed. I will see you next Wednesday from six to nine. See you guys next week. Y'all know this party gonna get turned out when Uncle Wild is in the high. Uncle Wild's murder. Death of Uncle Wild. I mean, that was like that was a that was a difficult day for Miami as well as myself.
to this day. It's something that uh, I think touched everybody in, in Miami. I mean, Al just meant so much to, to everybody in the community. And I remember, you know, probably a few days before he died. He was like, look, man, you gotta keep this music in this. You gotta keep this thing going for us. This is what we started. And Al was somebody that, no matter you know, where you're from, if you were Cuban, if you were Haitian, if you were white, pink, purple, black, and you, as long as you represent Miami, he embraced you. I think he was someone that was a pioneer and he was way ahead of his time, um, especially the way that they set up radio stations and the way he would try to touch the neighborhoods and the way he tried to change the He, he is Miami, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, he is Miami. He embodies everything about this city. I think I was someone that's going to always live on the legacy of what Miami is. He was like a real inspiration to me, you know, because uh, there have always been times where I'm like, man, I'm fed up with doing music uh, with this whole thing because it's just too much uh, BS in the game. But then, you know, Al, when Al, Al died, you know, he he, lived, he leaves with a legacy. And that's one thing. When you die, you want to leave people with something that they will always uh, talk about. And when people, when people say peace in the hood, that's Al's legacy. And that will never, uh, never end until there is peace in the hood. Uh, the rest in peace is something that definitely touched all of us. And we'll forever carry on the, the Uncle Al legacy.